airline I want to three approach traffic at you two o'clock eight miles we have traffic on Tikas don't say that it's like Hello aviators, how are you today? My name is Magna Nordal, I'm an airline captain and instructor. Today I will talk about the traffic collision avoidance system, TCAS, also known as Airborne Collision Avoidance System, ACAS. It alerts pilots about nearby aircraft and gives guidance to avoid collision. This system has saved countless of lives, including the husband of my sister-in-law. He was flying with the TCAS for the first time in his life and he got a TCAS alert, descend, descend. And while they did that, another airliner passed overhead. So close you can see the faces of the passengers. So TCAS is a good thing, but it has some limitation you must be aware of. The TCAS is a computer connected to the transponder of an aircraft. It is receiving transponder signals from other aircraft and computes the altitude difference and the closure rate between your aircraft and the other. Those aircraft are displayed as symbols on the VSI or the navigation display, together with their relative altitude and whether they are climbing or descending. The open diamond shows traffic that is not a concern for you. The field diamond shows traffic that is closer to you and within plus minus 1200 feet. On this screenshot we can see traffic above and below us. One aircraft is climbing and the others are maintaining the altitude. The diamond without altitude report might be a VFR flight without more Charlie, which is the altitude reporting. It can also be a Navy vessel. One aircraft is maintaining the same altitude as us. If this aircraft comes within plus minus 850 feet and 40 to 45 seconds from us, the symbol changes to a yellow circle and a traffic advisory, TA, is issued. Traffic, traffic. If the aircraft comes within plus minus 600 feet and 20 to 25 seconds from us, the symbol changes to a red square and a resolution advisory, called RA, is issued. Climb, climb. The RA is an oral climb or descent command, followed by a green arc on the VSI, showing the required vertical speed to get clear of the other aircraft. And red arcs show the vertical speeds to be avoided. The TCAS in the other aircraft communicates with the TCAS in our aircraft and will issue an opposite command. There are two variants of TCAS, TCAS 1 and TCAS 2. TCAS 1 issues only traffic advisories. TCAS 2 issues traffic advisories and resolution advisories. TCAS 2 is mandated by ICAO to be fitted in all aircraft with a maximum takeoff mass of more than 5,700 kilos or 12,600 pounds or having more than 19 passenger seats. In the United States, TCAS 1 is required in aircraft with 10 to 30 passenger seats and TCAS 2 in aircraft with more than 30 passenger seats. The current version of TCAS 2 is version 7.1 and it became mandatory about 10 years ago. This is just a brief description of the system. As an airline pilot, you will find more information in the aircraft manual. Traffic, traffic. When you receive a traffic advisory, you look out and try to find the other aircraft visually. When you receive a resolution advisory, you disconnect the autopilot and follow the command given by the TCAS. Climb, climb. Flight directors off. Increase climb, increase climb. Normally, it is sufficient to change the pitch of the aircraft with five degrees. Just remember, the VSI has a delay, so you must change the pitch Hold it and then check the VSI. The flight director might be a distraction and it's recommended to select it to standby. One important factor is that you must disregard any orders from air traffic control when you have a resolution advisory. 
Remember that the TCAS units in both aircraft are coordinating the advisories. One aircraft will be commanded to climb and the other to descend. When you have a resolution advisory, you inform air traffic control by calling TCAS RA. When you are clear of the other aircraft, the TCAS calls clear of conflict and you will report clear of conflict to air traffic control and return to your assigned altitude. TCAS 2 has a limitation. It only gives vertical advisories. Climb, descend, increase climb, reduce descent, maintain vertical speed, level off. In the 1990s, work started on TCAS 3. In addition to vertical advisories, it will introduce horizontal advisories like uh, turn right, climb. But it was soon discovered that the accuracy of the directional antenna was not good enough. Therefore, the development work was terminated. I recorded this video a few days ago. During cruise, we were followed by an airplane 2,000 feet below. We were on the same airway, but just look how the symbol is jumping around. This clearly demonstrates that the directional signal is not accurate enough to provide horizontal separation. What is accurate is the distance and altitude difference. When TCAS 3 was terminated, work started on TCAS 4. It would use position signals transmitted by transmodem mode Sierra to calculate accurate bearing information. But this project was terminated when work started on automatic dependent surveillance broadcast, which will replace TICAS in the future. And this reminds me about my father's uncle Johannes. He emigrated to America in the 1920s. He had many ideas, and in 1926, he invented a soft drink tea called 4UP. It didn't sell well, so the next year, he launched 5UP. Again, this was a failure. In 1928, he invented 6UP. Then came the depression. My father's uncle died as a poor man, but oh my gosh, how close he was. As I said a minute ago, the TCAS antenna doesn't provide a directional signal that is accurate enough. But that is just one of many shortcomings. The TCAS is very accurate when it comes to calculate altitude difference, distance and time to impact. But the symbol on the screen doesn't tell you the speed of other aircraft or where they are heading. And this has resulted in misinterpretation and pilot-induced conflicts. Here is one example. On the display, the captain of an airline is a traffic ahead at the same altitude. He called ATC, air traffic control, and asked whether there was a conflict. Air traffic control said, no, it's not. The captain didn't believe air traffic control and turned right to solve the conflict. What he didn't know was that the other aircraft was traveling from left to right, and this resulted in a resolution advisory. Traffic, traffic, climb, climb. Because of those limitations with the TCAS, I hope you agree that the idea about identifying other aircraft and maintain your own separation based on information from the TCAS is not a good idea. When air traffic control gives information about other traffic, the correct reply is either negative contact or traffic in sight. Never say we have traffic on TCAS or TCAS contact, because this has no meaning for air traffic control. Okay. And that's all for this time. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day and happy learning.